Hi, I'm Jeff Herman, and I'm going to demonstrate how to remove a scratch from a piece of sterling using various abrasive papers and ending up uh, at the polishing machine uh, to give the piece a very glossy finish in the end. But before I start, I wanted to show you how I make up a abrasive stick. And I'm using silicon carbide as opposed to emery. Uh, never use emery on sterling because it will embed itself in the metal and you'll have a great, uh, a very difficult time removing it. So what I do for these sticks, instead of gluing a, pe uh, gluing a piece of abrasive material to a stick, I like to wrap it. And what I do is I take a, uh, a razor blade and I score it at the corners and just go right around. Very simple, it's very fast, and this way you don't have to keep removing papers from uh, a single stick and uh, reapplying abrasive paper. And then I just put one of these little clips on it and it holds it in place. So these are the five grits, and what I'm going to do is, this is, this is a punch ladle uh, bowl, and I'm going to put uh, a few scratches in it just to demonstrate how I remove these scratches. Now, normally I may use my belt sander, but since not everybody has a belt sander, I'm just going to do this at the bench. And I'm going to turn on my dust collector as well. You'll notice that I'm not using a steel file. That's because the paper is conforming more to the compound curve on this piece. And I'll tap this out and it'll loosen the silver particles and give me a cleaner sheet to work with. I try to use the entire length of the paper. So those scratches are out at this point. Now, depending on what kind of buffs you have and what type of polishing material, I could go from 600 over to the buff, 1200 over to the buff, and 2000 to the buff. Just keep crisscrossing, going in different directions. And now I'm ready to polish. Uh, I'm here at my polishing lathe, which has an enclosure to keep all of the, the dust and cotton fibers in this location. So I'm going to use a, a treated sewn buff, and these buffs generally retain their fibers much better than muslin buffs. I'm going to be using the yellow Luxie compound, which is a medium abrasive. And I'm using this because I'm down to 2000 grit. Uh, I could also use it if I were coming over here from a, a 1200 grit. But if I was down to uh, 360 or 600, then I would have to be using a more aggressive polishing compound. Again, even though I have a dust collector, I'm still going to use my on my respirator because not every last fiber will stay in this area. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be crisscrossing so I don't end up with any high or low spots. Always crisscross, never constantly go in one direction. So now I'm ready for the final polish, but the first thing I want to do before, do, before proceeding to the, the final polish is I need to remove this polishing compound because otherwise it's going to contaminate the, uh, the finer uh, abrasive compound that I will be using to uh, put the final gloss on this piece. So I'll be right back. I'm just going to use a grease remover to remove this compound. You'll notice the cloudiness on the, the back of this bowl. Uh, that is going to be removed uh, with the next compound. 
uh, which is on the idea of a red rouge, a very glossy compound. And I'm switching to a balloon buff, which has much finer fibers. It's 100% cotton and it's not stitched. And so what I'm going to be doing, I'm not going to be putting a lot of pressure on the piece with this buff. I'm just going to be essentially kissing it. And before I start using it, I'm going to uh, clean the buff with a, uh, a broken grinding wheel because I, I don't need to reform this with, uh, say, a regular uh, rake, which would really uh, give me a very, very rough surface and remove compound that really isn't in there at this point. And that's how you remove a scratch from a piece of silver and end up with this glossy finish.